Hi, first grade writers, and welcome back to another writing session. So, Ms. Mermelstein asked me to step in to help her finish the story today. So, just like she says, to settle in for our day, we need to first get all of our materials ready to do our writing. So, what you're going to need today is your booklet with your whole story that you sketched and you wrote the beginning page. You need a pencil and an eraser. These also have your dry erase board and the marker. And last, I would like you to bring your word wall with you from your toolkit. So those are a lot of things. Your booklet, your pencil and eraser, your dry erase marker and board, and your word wall. So pause the video here for a minute, get all of your material set, and then let's continue. All right, are you guys ready? We're going to get started. So let's review what our teaching point is today. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to continue to do some of the things that Ms. Mermelstein had asked us to do, but I added another part for us to work on. So our teaching point for today is I can write my words by using what I learned, doing the best I can, and using my word wall. So let's take a look at Mrs. Mermelstein's story that she wrote with us, and I'm going to share it with you. So the other day on her sketch, she started to write one sunny afternoon, and when she shared the rest of my story, it said this, we were at the beach. Remember she went to the beach with her daughter, Ariana? Yes, and that was the beginning of her story. Well, Ms. Mermelstein also shared with me the middle of her story. Here's the middle of her story. There she is in the water with her daughter, and they're diving on the waves. And this is what she wrote. We played in the waves, diving and jumping into them. Doesn't that sound like fun? And then Miss Mermelstein was getting ready to do her last page. And she sketched a picture of herself and her daughter driving home in the car, talking about their day at the beach. So I'm going to do exactly what she had said. I'm going to use what I've learned. I'm going to do the best I can. And now I'm going to use my word ball. Here it is. <coughs> now, you might not be able to see it closely, but I'll show you how I use it so then you can do it too. Okay, so let me think. What did she want to say? Well, they were talking in the car and she had said, I'm touch and tell. We had fun and talked about the beach on the drive home. Yeah, I like that story. Okay. We had, so I know that I can tap out words. We, all right, I'm going to start there. We, we had, we had, this is my foundations. You know what? I think these might be word wall words, so I'm going to stop for a minute and I'm going to just check. We. I'm going to go by my W. We. We. W. E. Okay, good. Got that one. Now the other word was had. Let me find the H. H. <gasps> Had's the first word there. Had. All right. I'm on the right track. I can keep going. We had fun. Can you tap that out with me? Un. Oh, now there's the word. Got it. We had fun and and, oh, I see Anne's right here too. That's helping me just to remind me. We had fun and talked. Oh my goodness, talked. And now I know talked is not going to be on that word wall because that's a really big word. And But let me try my best. Talked. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try the best I can. Talked. Talked. Okay, good. There we go. We had fun and talked 
about. Oh my goodness, about. I'm gonna try my best. A b about. A about. You know what? I'm thinking that might be a word wall word. I think I'm gonna check my word wall. Where's the word wall? Oh, here it is. A B O U. Ooh, there's the U in there. Ooh, but you know what I can do? I can just squeeze it in. I'm just gonna do a little carrot. I'm gonna just squeeze that U in there so that I know that that was the word about. I could also cross it out too, right? And write the word above it. We had fun and talked about the. Oh, I know the because that's one of my trick words. T H E the. Talked about the beach. B beach. If I can do this, I know I can. B beach. I'm going to die grinch. We talked about the beach. We had fun and talked about the beach the whole way home, the whole ride home. How about on the drive home? Because I like that word on. I know that mess. Let me check my word wall that it would be on that. On the drive. 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 Home. Home. Okay, I think I have the ending of my story. I want to read it over just in case. We had fun and talked about the beach on the drive home. I did it. I finished the story. Oh, when you finish a story, you should feel so proud of yourself because these are the things that you did. You used everything that you learned. You did your best work. And now you're using the tool of your word wall to help you with the story. Fantastic. So now we're gonna do a quick active engagement. So this is where you need your slate and your marker. And you're going to practice writing this short sentence. And I want you to use your word wall to check your words. Are you ready? The sentence is, they can play. You wanna say it with me? They can play. All right, I want you to stop the video and write that on your board, but don't erase it. They can play. Go ahead. Did you write that sentence? Did you check the words on your word wall? I hope so. Okay, so now for our follow-up from our lesson today, as we finish up, now you're going to finish writing your story. You're going to write your middle, and your end and your story's gonna all be done today. And they'll be fantastic. And just like Miss Mermelstein always says, when you finish something or at the end of a day, don't forget to share and showcase your work. And you're gonna share and showcase your work by taking pictures of your work and putting them on Seesaw. So take a picture of that whiteboard where you wrote that sentence, they can play. And then take a picture of each of your pages of your story. And if you want, you can even read it to your teacher. Wouldn't that be fantastic? So writers, we all cannot wait to see the fantastic work you are going to do today. Have a great day and we'll see you again soon.